Hello everyone, my name's Witcherbeth. I'm here today to make us a potion for some anchors. Let's throw in some Alyssa. Let's throw in some Liz. Mix, 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 mix. Oh! Good morning everybody, it's Monday, February 28th. I'm Alyssa. And I'm Liz. And this is Faircast. Heads up, parent-teacher conferences are this week. They are Tuesday and Wednesday from 4 to 7 every night. And you know what that means. The end of the quarter is just around the corner, so get your grades up. Did we really land on the moon? Did aliens build the pyramids? One of our very own students tried to shed some light on these well-known conspiracy theories. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. I mean, the whole moon landing is kind of a gray area. Might have happened, might have not happened, I don't know. I think some of his theories are kind of weird and they're definitely not uh, true for the most part, but some of them definitely make you think, you know, what if this is true? And some of them could be true, but probably not. Yeah, there's no way that aliens don't exist. Aliens are among us right now. I guarantee it. Yeah, they were trying to, the government was trying to hide UFO information from us for years. There's footage and records of objects in the skies that we don't know exactly what they are. We can't explain uh, how they move, their trajectory, and so, you know, I, th I think that we're st uh, people still take seriously trying to investigate and figure out what that is. She Tech Explorer Day is March 1st. If you're interested in going, pick up a permission slip for Miss Jorgensen. All right, let's send it over to our reporter for a quick announcement. Hi, I'm here at the National Honor Society Toy Drive. Please come donate your toys for those who are less fortunate. But please don't donate clothes because this is a toy drive. Thank you. If you've taken a digital CTE class in the past for years, you may have experienced a bit of rage as your computer crashes and you lose all your work. Well, good news, new computers are on their way. Reporters Cade and KJ have a story. Hello, Summit. As many of you know, our computers are not the greatest. But fortunately, a plan has been made to replace these computers. Today, we take an in-depth look at Summit's computers. As you all can tell, we're in pretty dire need of an upgrade. This is where the new computers will be. Now let's get some opinions. Most memorable bad experience, it would probably have to be doing an Adobe Illustrator project and then it just, the computer just decides to die. All of my work got removed because it was before I saved. Pretty excited because like the computers we have right now are trash. So I'm, I'm pretty excited to see what, what kind of power they have. Uh, I'm not entirely sure, but I've been here for four years, and I was told they got these a couple years before I got here. So I'm assuming at least six, six years old that the schools have them. Fortunately, the new computers will be here by the beginning of next year. Back to the studio. Okay, let's send it over to sports. The boys basketball team played great against LCA. Thank you seniors for such a great season. Open gyms for softball have started. If you want to play and you're interested in playing, talk to Ms. Jones. Soccer open gyms have also started. They're out on the field most days after school.
Sports, let's send it back to the studio. Thanks for joining us for this episode of Bearcast. As always, Go Bears Roar and Bear Down! I did that wrong. <laughs>